Well, despite the chill in the air, it is springtime, and that means it's time to head out to the garden. Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans joins us now from his garden outside the TV station. Chad, what's happening out there today? Well, it's a work in progress, Jeff. Uh, we're moving a lot of plants from near the building. Building, so we're moving all the plants away from the building now. So it's a messy over there. That's a work in progress. The garden right here that's boxed in, also a work in progress. But we've got lettuce, spinach, and beets planted, and I've got the plastic here to warm the soil up. It acts like a mini greenhouse, so we've warmed the soil up, and we've got rows of lettuce and leafy crops starting to sprout. Our wireless weather sensor here this morning had 25 degrees, but notice the onions fared fine. We've got potatoes planted here, and with that 25 degree low, our daylilies are sprouting great. We've got tulips sprouting, and also the daffodils I planted last fall doing very, very well. We also just planted peas, and in the coming weeks, Jeff, uh, we're gonna start planting warmer crops, especially as we get towards around April the 10th, April the 15th. As the temperatures rise, we're gonna start planting green beans and eventually get to tomatoes, and I just got my broccoli plants. We're gonna start planting those here in the coming weeks as well. Busy season in the garden, heading uh, here in the next couple of weeks, I guess. That's right. You know, uh, it's amazing how much produce you can get out of one little plot of land. I think it's essential for everyone to have a small little victory garden like this because, boy, does it save on the grocery bill. And, of course, we're going to keep the station well-fed uh, this summer, Jeff. All right, waiting for those tomatoes. Thanks, Chad. That's right. Let's head out.